Hello everyone and welcome to our CES press conference organized virtually for sanitary reasons. However, our booth is up and running, managed by our US-based team. So please visit us to discover our latest and greatest innovations. As we all know, mobility is undergoing an unprecedented revolution. With every passing day, it's becoming cleaner, safer, more autonomous, more connected, and more tailored to your needs. In a nutshell, it's becoming more intelligent. And that's not all. We see all sorts of different forms of mobility emerge every day. Velo is at the forefront of these accelerating revolutions because we anticipated them and because we have the technological and industrial leadership in the key areas that make them possible. I mean vehicle electrification, ADAS, lighting and interior intelligence. In all these areas, we bring together hardware, electronics, and software. In all these areas, we make your car smarter. Let me start with electrification. Valeo, together with Velo Siemens e-automotive, pioneered and is today the world leader in vehicle electrification. It's quite simple. One in three cars worldwide is fitted with our electrical systems that help to reduce CO2 emissions. Our technologies cover all users and needs from hybrid to all electric cars. By the end of 2022, nearly 100 electric and plug-in hybrid models will be fitted with our powertrain systems. During the show, we present some of these models, including the Mercedes EQS, which is today the longest range electric car ever manufactured and which is fully equipped by a Valeo Siemens electric powertrain. So for Valeo, electrification means not only electric powertrain systems, but also the associated thermal management systems. For Valeo, electrification means greater value. Cumulative order intake for vehicle electrification reaches over 26 billion euros. Our content per car is multiplied by two for low voltage solutions by three for vehicle thermal management systems, and by nine for high voltage solutions. Let me continue now with ADAS. Valeo is also the pioneer and the world leader in driving assistance. We invented ADAS more than 30 years ago with the first parking assistance systems. And today, one in three new cars produced worldwide is fitted with our driving assistance technologies. We are the eyes, we are the ears that help the vehicle to understand its surroundings. And we're also the brain, the brain that helps the car to make the right decision in all circumstances. Our sensors, our software, our AI are making driving safer, easier, and gradually more autonomous. The overall ADAS market is set to grow three times by 2030. What is the challenge of ADAS? It's to make the mobility safer. And LiDAR is a key part of it. There will be no level three autonomy without a LiDAR sensor. Actually, the first two cars in the world capable of reaching level three autonomy have entered the market and they are equipped with the Valeo LiDAR technology. Let me introduce to you now a world premiere, a great product, a superb innovation, our latest and greatest generation LiDAR, our third generation, which will help us to go even further in the development of the autonomous car from 2024. It can see things that humans and cameras and radars cannot see. It uses predictive algorithms to track vehicles, cyclists, pedestrians, even where there's no longer in your line of sight. It anticipates their trajectories. It triggers the necessary safety maneuvers as they reappear in front of your car. So thanks to uh, you know, its exceptional perception capabilities, driving can be delegated to the car in a number of situations, including on the highway at speeds of up 
to one thirty kilometer per hour. Beyond your own car, it uses the cloud to alert other cars of potential road hazards, therefore sharing its exceptional perception capabilities with the surrounding community. This technology makes autonomous mobility a reality. In addition to our third generation of long-range LiDAR, we are very excited to showcase for the first time our new solid-state flash LiDAR for near-field application as a further evidence of our technological leadership in LiDAR. As you can see on the image, with, with its uh, unparalleled vertical and horizontal view and its unrivaled image resolution, it creates a safety cocoon, a safety cocoon for driverless cars such as robot taxis, shuttles, droids, ensuring a safe cold start after standstill. When the driverless car starts up, it's given an instant 360 degree view of its surroundings, allowing it to move forward without putting pedestrians or other road users in danger. Our sensors are the fundamental basis enabling the car to perceive its environment. But Velo expertise goes far beyond hardware. We are present in all areas of ADAS and autonomous driving. And not only are we developing the eyes, the ears of the car, we are also enhancing them with the necessary software layers and intelligence that allow these sensors to understand what they see, to make the right decisions, and even to anticipate situations. Our approach is global. We develop detection systems, perception systems, data fusion systems, piloting systems, and we manage them within the new architectures that have emerged from this exponential development of ADAS, intelligence, and associated data. We also develop high-performance computers and zonal controllers that will be key components of your future car. I will continue with our lighting technologies. Valeo is also the leading manufacturer of automotive lighting. Not only do our intelligent lighting systems light up the road ahead, but they also alert the driver to potential hazards by pointing out cyclists on the side of the road and tracing out road contours. They can also warn the car behind you when a pedestrian is crossing in front of you. These systems directly help to save lives. Finally, I will address interior intelligence. Inside the car, our technologies take care of you and enhance your comfort. They cover the full spectrum of driver and passenger needs, from monitoring driver alertness to purifying the cabin air and providing intelligent thermal comfort tailored to each passenger. They even allow the driver to bring friends and family virtually along for the ride, offering you and your loved ones new augmented reality experiences. Take our innovative Voyage XR panorama, for example. We are today in a digital conference, thousand miles away from the CES Convention Center. But thanks to this new feature developed by Valeo, we can also be there in Vegas, visiting the Strip with our US colleagues making us a tour. Thanks to the Velo surround cameras placed around the car, the system reconstructs a 3D view of the car and its surroundings, as if from a drone flying above and around the car. Not only can these images help you with parking maneuvers, but you can also share them in real time with your family and friends, thereby bringing them virtually on your journey. This is the future of augmented and virtual reality. From your tablet, you can pilot this magic drone that's flying above your car. 
the magic of a drone without a drone. Now, based on the same ability of value to collect and fuse data from our sensors, let me introduce you to our vital sign detector. This device can detect whether a person has COVID or not in less than two minutes, thanks to a contactless system that is almost as efficient as a PCR test. To do so, we have combined radar, camera, and AI technologies that were initially developed to monitor driver drowsiness and tailor thermal comfort to each user. This system, which uh, was developed in co collaboration with health organizations, is a natural extension of all the technologies that we are inventing to transform the car into a sort of health cocoon as our UV purifier. This product has just been awarded the CS 2022 Innovation Award. It's the most powerful ultraviolet air purifier for buses and coaches, capable of eliminating more than 95% of viruses, microbes, and bacteria, while the vehicle is on the move with passengers on board. Let me say a word about new mobilities. Our technologies make mobility cleaner, safer, and smarter. And so naturally, they're finding their way into other fields beyond our traditional automotive business. Our technologies can be used in many new forms of mobility, such as electric bikes, motorcycles, robot taxis, and delivery droids. For instance, during this CS, we present for the first time an all-electric 48-volt motorcycle. Such a technology is a direct adaptation of our development in 48-volt systems for passenger cars. They offer a cost-effective way of electrifying vehicles and are particularly well-suited to new forms of mobility. We are the pioneer and we are the world leader in this field as well. We are also displaying our Velo Delivery Droid, which is fitted with Velo electric powertrain systems, sensors, software, sensor cleaning systems, and lighting systems that enable the droid to communicate with its uh, surrounding environment. We are showing that we have the full range of technologies to keep pace, to keep pace with the growth in this new and exciting market of last mile autonomous delivery. Our technologies are fostering the emergence of new forms of mobility, both for people and for goods. They're playing a key role, a key role in the development of electric, autonomous taxis, shuttles, and delivery droids. They're also helping to get cities ready for tomorrow's mobility with new infrastructure, such as uh, uh, our smart charging stations that automatically recharge your electric car when energy is the cheapest or wh when it comes from a green source. And it also redistributes the electricity not used by your car to the grid. Today, our technologies are inventing the mobility and the cities of tomorrow. In conclusion, as you can see, Velo has all the technologies that are needed to support the race toward a cleaner, a safer, a smarter mobility. Whatever form that may take, and CES is another opportunity to demonstrate it. Not only are we enabling smarter mobility, we are doing it in a sustainable way. We are transforming our group and its entire value chain at the same time to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. We will already have made significant progress toward this goal in 2030 by nearly halving our carbon footprint. This covers emissions from our plants, from our manufacturing processes and our energy supply, and also the emissions from our suppliers and relating to the end use of our technologies. It's of course a huge challenge. It's a huge challenge for us, but it's our duty it's our responsibility for humanity, for the planet, for us, for our kids. We are committed to this and we will achieve this goal. Thank you very much for your attention.